and greetings and welcome y'all this is old man gib and this evening we are in x4 tides of avarice and we are going to look at another ship this one is the before i lie to you the tuda now this ship here is pretty friggin awesome it does it is the scrapper ship the compactor and it looks like all kinds of goofy but it's actually really cool it goes out demos uh deconstructs wrecks um stations other stuff like that and then spits these great big scrap cu cubes out its arse right there so um it's pretty freaking awesome now um doesn't have a lot of hull, only 66,000. Its radar range is 40. Now, this is default. The only thing, the only mod I have that I put on this is the um, resistance, so it's got 100% against uh, bad areas and stuff. So, uh, only 7,700 in cargo, has 146 crew, has two small docks, which you can have four ships on. So now let us take a look at the ship. First, we're going to go into third view. We'll swing around here, and you can see that it looks just like a conglomeration of stuff thrown together is really what this ship looks like. Um, it is, of course, it is a scrap ship. So, but it is, in my opinion, one of the coolest looking ships in this game. Um, yeah, it's just crazy. Now, um, this little joker here, combined with a couple mules, can actually make you a lot of of credits if you are um, looking to scrap stuff out or if you have a, a station um, and you have a scrap yard it, it will hook you up now let's go through the walkthrough hello there marine we have got the the fleet console right here up here we have a gunnery console then up here is access to comms. Over here would be our flight control. And then, of course, there's command. Now, if we come over here to this, this door and step over to cables running everywhere, we can go to the crew quarters. I like how on a lot of these ships, the, where you're going, it looks different. It's not all the same. Now, the crew quarters themselves are the same. And I wish, like I've said before, that you could actually go into them. There was more to the crew quarters. But um, here we've got a uh, Marine hanging out. All right. Now we will go see if there's anybody in the brig. Oh, what I just run into? All right, we have a glitch in this ship. Can't get to the brig. There's a invisible wall there or something. Yep, it's glitching. All right, so we're not going to force that. Now that is unfortunate. All right, let's go up here to the dock area. And up here, you can see there's my she. And then there's the other little dock area. Like I said, this carries has two small docks and space for a large. Now, as far as weaponry, this ship really doesn't have a lot. It's got just two groups of turrets. Um... Now, when I built this, I went with a high preset. You can see the only mod I have is Hazardous Region, 
um, got a lot of construction drones, repair drones. You can put defense drones in her to make up the lack for turrets. Uh, but yeah, um, this thing is simply to go out and scrap and tear down uh, wrecks, uh, stations that have been blowed up, that sort of thing. And it's real good at it. And like I said, if you got um, a couple mules, three mules that you can float around behind this joker, why then, um, yeah, it's going to make you some good cash or supply a lot of stuff to your um, wharf or shipyard or whatever it is you may be looking to build. Um because, you know, now one thing about uh, scrapyards, damn cotton picking jokers eat up energy cells like a five year old eats up popsicles. So keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, this ship here is, if you're running a large station and you need a lot of material, this ship here. What I would consider to be um, almost not a necessity, but a very decent um, asset to your fleets. So, you know, I hope this helps you out. Like I said, this is nothing but a scrapper. It doesn't, it's not built for fighting or anything like that. So, you know, if you're going into less than friendly territory, I'd put a couple, maybe three, four, um, Maybe two as uh, gunboats and um, a wing of fighters, maybe five fighters to run escort with this Joker. Um, with the two, it can carry eight fighters, so maybe even eight fighters. You know, a uh, couple light ones to is it interceptors, and then a couple heavies, and then some gunboats. You know, to run escort for this Joker because it's you know it's not going to stand up in a fight very long, but. Other than that, it is a good ship. I hope this video was a help to, to all of you. Uh, may the Lord bless you all. Do me a favor. Give me a like and a subscribe. Leave me a comment down there if you like this ship. If you're using it, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of it, um, how it's helped you, maybe hindered you, uh, your, your opinion. And this is Old Man Gibb, and I will see you in the next one.